In this video, I just want to show you how to work with SQL Server if you load it on Windows 8 or, like I have it here, loaded on Windows Server 2012. Both of these have that Windows 8 Server 2012 interface. Now, I have put this as my background so you can see the title of the movie and so forth, but notice this is my desktop here, and I am on the Server 2012 interface, which is exactly like Windows 8. And to see the Start menu, I'll just move my mouse to the lower left, and that will come up, and I can click, and I'm on that Start screen that we see in the Windows 8, what they used to call the Metro interface. This thing is okay once you get used to it, but I wanted to show you a little thing you can do. You may have already known this about pinning things, but when you install SQL Server, it is going to show up over here on the right side. So if I go to the far right, you can see here's Profiler. Here is Import and Export Data, Data Profile Viewer. Here's some installation files and so forth, reporting services. Right here is the SQL Server Management Studio. Now, if I click this, it will open the SQL Server Management Studio. Now, throughout this course, I'm going to be saying we're in the Management Studio or open the Management Studio or whatever, and I want to see how to get there as easily as I'm getting there and for how I'm going to set my machine up. A couple of things here about that Windows 8 interface. Anytime I'm on the desktop and I want to go to the Start screen, just hit that Windows key just to the left of the space bar, and it will toggle me back and forth just like you see here. Another thing I can do is go to the SQL Server Management tile that shows up after I install SQL Server. Right-click on that tile, come down to the left here, and notice that it says Pin to Taskbar. Just choose that, then go back out to the desktop, and you're going to notice that now I have this nice, cool little pin icon on the taskbar, and I can just single-click it at any time right off the desktop and go into the Management Studio. That is the way I'll have mine set up so that we don't have to jump back and forth to that somewhat new and frustrating screen. Now, there is one other thing I want to show you. I'm just going to hit the Windows key to jump to the Start screen. I can always come back here and grab the SQL Server Management tile, drag it to the left, and put it anywhere I want it to. Okay, so I can drop it right there so at least every time I go into the start screen, it's right up here to the upper left. Now, these aren't big deals, but they will drive you crazy when you're out there on the desktop and you have to come down here. And I don't know, getting this thing right here to pop up is still somewhat irritating. And I always want to come back up here and get onto it to click. So sticking that thing down here on the taskbar so that it's a one-click proposition is the way to go. That's the way to work with this thing if you have loaded SQL Server 2012 on either Windows 8 or Server 2012.